Based on the Handbook, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scamander. Within the magical universe of Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling created an entire era of new wizards and witches in the movie of the same name. The story starts in 1926, with young world-faring Newt Scamander arriving at New York and his eventual face-off with the dark wizard, Gellert Grindelwald. The five-part movie series will end with the legendary duel between Grindelwald and the future Hogwarts headmaster, Albus Dumbledore. A plethora of new and previously mentioned characters were introduced in the first two Fantastic Beasts movies. This leaves us to examine, who is the most powerful among them all? Let's get right into it. Spoilers are ahead, so continue at your own risk. Porpentina Goldstein. She is a half-blood American witch who graduated from Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. She later became the Auror of Makusa and was later expelled when she used magic to assault a nomage, Mary Lou Barebone, when the latter was abusing her adopted son, Credence Barebone. She is very good at dueling, although she was fairly beaten by Grindelwald, who had disguised himself as Percival Graves. Besides that, she can also apparate across with relative ease and can perform nonverbal magic as well. Vinda Rosier. She is a French witch of the famous pure-blood Rosier family and a trusted and loyal acolyte of Grindelwald. She is excellent in dark arts. She used the killing curse to kill a Parisian family to use their home as a temporary abode for Grindelwald and his followers. She is seemingly good with charms when she charmed the teapot to pour Queenie Goldstein tea in their home in Paris. Lita Lestrange. She was an accomplished Slytherin who often seemed confused. She lacked self-esteem mainly due to the lingering guilt due to the role she had played in her brother Corvus's death. She was the fiance of Newt's brother Theseus. She was skillful in the defense against dark arts, but had trouble repelling a Bogart due to her incredible guilt. She was a skilled duelist and her elemental magic mastery over the element of fire helped her while confronting Grindelwald and shattered his skull hookah with a well-aimed spell. She proudly held her own against the Dark Wizard for some time with the aid of Newt and Theseus before being overwhelmed by him and finally succumbing to his powers. Newton Scamander. Better known as Newt, he is one of the main wizards featured in the new spin-off movies. He might even seem to appear as the most powerful wizard to those who entered the wizarding world through the first Fantastic Beasts movies, having been able to capture the dark wizard Grindelwald. Besides that, he was able to contain an Obscurious through his impeccable skills with charms, even after the death of its host. From the use of his Revelio charms, he revealed Grindelwald who had assumed Percival Graves' appearance. His skill with undetectable extension charm enabled him to fit larger items in his suitcase. He was also able to handle Grindelwald's blue fire for a time briefly. Besides that, he also possesses healing magic tricks. He can prepare remedies and subdue the symptoms of an injury just by briefly inspecting it. He is good at nonverbal skills, and the way he erased the memory of the entire city of New York was outstanding. He can gain the trust of many magical beasts and occasionally beat them with his travel kettle. Serafina Pickery. She was the president of Magical Congress of the United States of America, or MACUSA in short, when Grindelwald tried to incite the war between magical and non-magical communities. She is known to be a good leader and is haughty and implacable. One doesn't simply become the president of a country without possessing any talent. Or maybe they can. Minerva McGonagall. The presence of Minerva McGonagall has caused a big confusion among the Wizarding World fans. Anyway, she is one of the most powerful witches to have lived. She is an animagus who takes the form of a cat, is an expert in transfiguration. She used her powers to protect Harry Potter and his friends countless times, defended Hogwarts against Voldemort during the Battle of Hogwarts, and is a great duelist. She can cast three patronesses at once and is a master at charms. Nicholas Flamel. 
Nicholas Flamel is an extraordinary wizard and an alchemist. His knowledge of alchemy enabled him to make Philosopher's Stone and was able to live for centuries along with his wife through the use of Elixir of Life. He also possessed remarkable knowledge of dark arts, which came in handy when he helped save Paris from the Grindelwald's incredibly powerful blue fire with Newt and his friends. He can also see events unfolding elsewhere in the world through his crystal ball. His power of divination is so powerful that even in Nomage, Jacob could see through it. If you're liking our video so far, why not subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Credence Barebone. He was raised by a nomad and the leader of the anti-witchcraft group New Salem Philanthropic Society, Mary Lou Barebone. Because of the repression of his magical powers, he turned into an obscurial. His latent magical power is very dangerous and uncontrollable. After he was given a wand, he cast a spell so powerful that it almost pulverized a nearby mountainside. His Obscurious was so powerful that not only did it survive for more than 10 years inside him, according to Grindelwald, Credence is his only instrument in defeating Albus Dumbledore. Gellert Grindelwald Gellert Grindelwald is pretty much the baddest guy in the wizarding world. He successfully fooled all Makusa Aurors posing as Percival Gray. A fellow of Durmstrang School, he was a brilliant student but was expelled for attacking others. He is a master of dark arts and his power is unparalleled to the combination of best wizards like Newt's commander, his brother Theseus, Nicholas Flamel, Tina Goldstein, and more. He is one of the greatest duelers. His duel with Dumbledore is considered the fiercest duel of all time. Smash that like button if you can't wait to watch the legendary duel between Grindelwald and Dumbledore. Grindelwald possesses incredible mastery in healing charms and occlumency, which particularly helped him maintain his true thoughts from Legmalen's Queenie Goldstein and Lord Voldemort. It took all the Aurors and Newt Scamander to capture him temporarily in the first movie and in the second. He easily switched places with Abernathy under the noses of the American Ministry. Albus Dumbledore Albus Dumbledore was the main advisor when the resistance against Grindelwald came to Paris to rescue Credence Barebone. But unknown to him, Grindelwald was plotting against him by using his own kin in Credence Barebone, as they couldn't confront face to face, adhering to the blood pact they made when they were young. However, he was the only wizard Voldemort feared, and because of whose wisdom he was later defeated. We know that he is the one that defeats Grindelwald and puts him in prison which he never escapes. Dumbledore is often considered the most powerful wizard of all time and is the force behind defeating two of the most powerful dark wizards of all time. Although we have seen what Dumbledore is capable of in Harry Potter series, he is also the most powerful one in this spin-off series. And hey, we don't have to witness him die in this one. What are your thoughts on our list? If you liked the video, let us know by smashing the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content like this.